Okay. Hello, Office Wad friends. <clears throat> this is um, Wednesday. Um, well, today's Wednesday, but you're probably going to see this Thursday or a different day if you're watching on another day. Um, yeah, hi, welcome. High chance today that you're seeing this because I can't be there in person. So I'm going to do my best to create a very similar experience. Hey, I'm assuming you're just popping in now. You might be, you may not be. This is a recording. So thank you for being here and watching. So I'm going to run you all through a half an hour workout. Uh, there won't be music because I'm not sure what YouTube allows or does not allow. If any of you are kind of smart in that area, feel free to, to shoot me a message so I can post better content. Anyways, I have my friend here um, so I can demo some combos with you guys later. But in the meantime, let's get started, shall we? All right. So let's start off with nice and easy marches. Swing my arms forward. Uh, don't worry. Uh, today is um, this Wednesday. It's during the day, but it is I'm on vacation, <laughs> so um, this is on my own time. For those who are wondering, actually, you can't tell that it's 11 o'clock right now because you don't know when I'm recording it. But that's the time. So we're still marching. Got another 10 seconds left. When I'm marching, I want to. Swing my arms so they're parallel. This gets my arms not just in flexion, my hands in front, but also hands in extension, arms behind. And as I'm doing this, my, my shoulders are rotating, getting a bit of mobility in my mid back. I'm also actively pulling my knees up, engaging these hip flexors. I don't get a lot of love during the day when we sit all day. Okay? Good. Spine stays tall, mouth closed, eyes forward. Breathing through your nose. That's a lot of information. Let's give it another 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, jumping jack. So you can step side to side. I know this, uh, <laughs> this guy. Step side to side or jump. 30 seconds of jumping jacks. Just keep moving at your own pace. Try to get your hands overhead, not just out here. Yeah, all the way. Um, if you're actually doing that and at the cue, it's, don't think that I'm reading your mind. This is a pretty common thing when I'm giving cues. Um, but if you notice something that feels weird or you have a question, shoot me a message and I'll try to help out. All right, we have 15 seconds left. Time is somewhat arbitrary. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, knees soft, okay? Under do some spinal waves or spinal rolls. So take another roll, tuck my chin around my upper back, around my low back. It's getting pretty stiff here. And then I'm just gonna hang. I'm here, I'm gonna pull up here, bend here, round, 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 round. Oh. Back up, and then I press to the sky with heel and palms. Tuck my chin. Round hang. Extra breath. And try to breathe. If you feel areas of tightness in your hamstring or your spine or neck, try to take an extra breath and breathe through that comfort, discomfort. There's three, we're in five in total. Remember, you can go at your own pace. Want to go slower? Feel free to go slower. Want to go faster? Feel free to go faster. Four. And five. All right. So we got some flexion, extension when we reached out. So that's some rotation. Okay. So imagine there are headlights on my hips and headlights on my shoulders. My, my hips are going to stay facing forward. My shoulders are going to twist. So I'm going to get my knees soft and make sure my hips don't twist. And I'm just going to do these bone arrows. So I'm going to reach back to my elbows, pull my elbows back, but I don't want my hips to turn. Okay. And exhale with each twist. Good. Knees soft, feet rooted. Good. Just a few primary movements to our spine, flexion, extension, rotation. 
There's also lateral flexion. So now we're gonna have our hands down here and I'm just gonna reach for my knee and reach for my knee. I'm not gonna try, I'm trying not to bend on my hips. I'm trying to flex at my spine, okay? So put my hands on my chest where my ribs kind of meet on my sternum. And I wanna use it to cue where I'm pivoting from versus kind of shooting my hips out or my low back, okay? I want mid back reach and reach. Start the movement from the neck and upper back. And I wanna rotate here. Yeah, right here. Here, okay. Keep every down here, every, everything lower than my hands braced. And that feels good. And just move side to side. All right. Let's do a little body weight workout to get things moving now. Okay. We're going to start with some lunges. So I'm going to step back. Pretty common mistake is step behind your leg or step out too wide. I want to step, pretend my feet are on parallel tracks. Step straight back. Okay. Step straight back. And I'm going to drop my knee straight down. I don't want to drive my knee forward, this knee forward, and have this heel come up. I want my knee to not pass my toes. I want to keep my weight on my heel and my back straight, okay? I'll uh, lightly touch the ground. And if you don't feel comfortable, you can also put your hand on a chair or table, use your hand for support, but do your best to use as little help as possible. Use my other hand for support. Let's do five. Five and four and four and three and three and two and two and one and one. Good. That was five lunges per side. Now we're going to do some push ups. You can find a sturdy chair. Do it on the ground. I'm doing it on the chair. I'm bringing my my sternum to the corner, my elbows back instead of instead of flaring up to the side. All right, let's do five nice controlled. One and up, two and up, and three. Good and four and five. Okay, let's do that a few more times. Now we're gonna do four lunges, four push ups, three, three, two, two, one, one. Okay, let's keep going. Four lunges, one, two, and two, and three, and three, and four, and four, and five. And whoops, that was the next year. I meant to do four. Let's just do four, four pushes. Here we go. One, and two, and three, and four. Excellent. Now three lunges. One, whoop. one. If you don't smash your knee, you want to come down slow too. Keep the weight on the front heel. Two. Shoot that hip back. Three. Hip back. And hip back. Three. Good. Three push ups. One. Up. Two. Up. And three. Good. Two lunges. Step back. The front leg hip is going to go back as I sit back. One. This gets me engaging my bum a lot more. Two and two. Two push ups. One, two. Now, one lunge per side. Step back. One and one. And all right, for those curious, this is called the descending ladder. In terms of reps, we went from a higher number to a lower number. You can obviously go up 
or down as you wish. All right, that's about 10 minutes so far. I'm feeling good, hope you're feeling good. Let's get some kickboxing in, all right? I'm gonna bring my friend here, uh, I don't know, Bob, Frank, um, uh, Bruce. Actually, our family got a new dog. Uh, name is Bruce, Bruce Wayne, or Bruce Wang, because her name is, last name's Wang. And uh, it's a husky, and his face looks like a little Batman, uh, the Batman symbol. So, sister got him for our family. That's pretty cool. We just lost our dog a couple days ago, a couple weeks ago. Um, so, yeah, it's our new family dog. Um, super cute. Um, yeah, shoot me a message before I see some photos. Anyways, I'm going to demonstrate a lot of stuff with this uh, little bag here. It's a very light bag. Moves around super easy, which I love. So, then I can go on the ground, and I also can also do ground work. Anyway, so you don't need to hear all that. Let's start with some jabs. So to demonstrate, remember we, we're, we're starting with this fighting stance. Feet are hip width, step straight back. So I'm shoulder width this way at an angle, and I'm turned this way. Okay, hands up, weight's in the ball of my feet. All right? When I start the fight, I don't start in a position where I can hit them. I'm standing away, because that means they can't hit me, I can't hit them. I close the distance by stepping in. I don't step in this way because my base is small. I widen the base and I close the distance. Okay? So I step in. I want my jab, my punch to strike at the same time. Because I get the weight of my body behind my punch. Okay? So jab and back. Jab and back. So and back. Step in and back. Notice how when I punch, my hands are turning in the last moment. Straight, straight, straight. And just like I'm pouring a pitcher of water, twist. Good. Three, two, and one. Switch sides. One more thing. Notice as I step in, I'm also twisting on my hip just a bit. Get some more power. Okay. Here we go. One, two, and three, and four, and five. Good. All right, let's do our classic one, two, step in, jab, cross, okay? Same thing, my hands start facing each other, and last moment they twist, all right? So step in, jab, watch my back leg, pivot on that back foot to get my hips, in there, okay? So fast, power. Step in, one, two, okay? Here we go, one, and two, and three, and four, and five. Awesome. Right foot forward now. Here we go, rinse and repeat. Step in, jab, cross, and back. And two, and three, and four, and five. You are using bags, having gloves would make it a lot more fun. The gloves are somewhere here. Ah, oh, sorry. All right, so we did a basic one, two. A lot of details emphasize on rotation, on pivoting, on a strong stance. Now, let's have some fun. Jab, cross. From here, I'm gonna step in and go for a clinch. Okay? So, jab, cross. Step back, I'm gonna push off, and I'm gonna lunge forward with my front leg, and I'm gonna give him a nice big hug. Boom, hold him tight, okay? So one hand over the other, like so. Pull him in tight, elbow down, nice and tight. My head is on the outside, okay? So, try this angle. One, two, step in, head's here, against your body, hold him in tight at their hips, okay? And sometimes you can take them over this way, but from here, I just want to push away and then grab, knee, kick. Okay? So, just step in, jab, cross, go for a clinch, push away, grab their shoulder, knee. I'm going to do a roundhouse kick. So, I'm going to turn my toe, my front leg, toe out to the side. I lift my knee, angling 
at an angle. I want to kick parallel to their ribs. Boom, right at, right at their ribs. Boom. You can also punch across, whatever you like. That is more of a tie style kick and back. All right, start again. Step in. Jab, cross. Step in, clinch. Push away, grab, knee, and kick. Okay, that's a lot of moves. That's a lot of moves. We're going to do that 10 times because it's complicated. It's only four hits, but with the clinch and the footwork, I want us to nail it down and uh, have fun with it, right? Step in, jab, cross, reset, step in, clinch, push away, grab the shoulder or neck, control the neck, knee, push away, turn this foot out, kick, roundhouse kick, okay? Turning this foot up helps open up my hip and also ensures that I don't torque my knee when I when I kick at an angle. Okay, it's been really painful on my knee. You can also pivot, but turning this out is well. just a little safer, especially if you're newer to this All right, that's one. All right, last topic for Josh. Jab, cross, clinch, push away, grab knee, and kick. Step back. That's two. Here's three. Jab, cross. Go for the clinch. Boom. Grab. Push away. Grab. Knee. Reset. Kick. And four. Jab. Cross. Clinch. Push away. Grab. Knee. Foot out. Kick. A four. Jab. Cross. Clinch. Push. Knee. Kick. And five. Jab. Cross. Clinch, push away, knee, kick, and six, jab, cross, clinch, push away, knee, kick, and seven, jab, cross, clinch, push away, knee, kick, and eight, jab, cross, clinch, push away, knee, and kick, and nine, jab, cross, go for the hips, pull in tight, push away, knee, and kick, last one, and ten, jab, cross, clinch, push away, knee, and kick, all righty, ten, other side, right foot forward, same thing, hands up, Knee soft. We're going to ball your feet, step in, jab. Okay? We're connecting our feet and our hands laying at the same time. Jab, cross, reset, step to the outside, clinch, push away, grab, control the neck and the shoulder, knee, push, roundhouse kick, and that's one. Here's two. Jab, cross, clinch, push. Knee, kick, that's back. And three, jab, cross, clinch, push away, knee, turn out, kick, get a three, here's four, jab, cross, clinch, push away, knee, turn out, kick, boom, nice. And five, jab, cross, clinch, boom. Push away, knee, kick, and six, jab, cross, go for the clinch, push away, grab, knee, push, kick, and seven, jab, cross, clinch, push away, grab, knee, kick, boom, and eight, jab, cross, clinch, boom, Push, grab, knee, and kick, and nine, jab, cross, clinch, boom, push away, knee, and kick, hands stay up, last one, jab, cross, boom, boom, go for the clinch, push away, knee, bam, push, kick, boom, all right.
Alrighty. Ten reps. So I have 11.31. I started at 11.12. So I think that's 10 more minutes. In the case your case of time is not working out correctly, uh, I got 10 more minutes left of this. So we're going to do a quick little kickboxing burnout and then cool down because cooling down is helpful. Okay? So here we go. Um, what am I doing? Oh, <laughs> jab grass. So I'm just in the balls of my feet. My hip, my feet are going to be square at the same level. And I'm going to run on the spot as I punch. So as I lift one leg, the opposite hand comes out to the side. Okay? So it's running fast and punching fast. My hands and my feet are matching my pace. As you go fast, don't make them small, okay? Don't do this and then go like that, okay? Just go fast, but make sure it's still good technique. You're extending, and you're also playing back to your chin. Not here or not like that, okay? Straight punches. Let's, start, let's do three gears. Gear one is slow. Gear two is fast. Gear three is all out. Ready? Three, two, one. Slow. Is where we dial in technique. Nice and slow. Nice and steady. You could do this for like minutes. I wouldn't say hours because I'm already getting tired. Good. But this is a pace where you and I can talk. If you can't talk, not yet. But this is relaxed. All right, gear two. Let's go. A little faster. There's a bit more power now. All right. One, two, one, two, one, two. All right. Now, maintain the same range of motion and technique. Gear three. Let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and time. All right. Hmm. Water is helpful. Good. Leg burn up, knee and kick. Okay, just one leg. If you want to hold something, you certainly can. Try your best to hold it very little, and do your best to try to balance. You don't have to kick high; you can kick low. Knee, okay. We're gonna aim our knees and our kicks at an angle versus going straight. We're gonna aim for the side, but if that's weird for you, even with your toes turned out. You can, you can do knee kick straight ahead, okay? Let's do 10 reps, all right? On my count, or if I'm going too slow, feel free to do 12 or 15 reps. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. Knee and kick. I'm going too fast. Go at your pace, a pace that works for you. Five, and six, seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. Boom. Other side, and go. Knee, and kick. Two, and three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. That's it. Um, I have about five, seven minutes left, but that's, that's it. So high five, high five, and then we do a little burpee. Okay. So the burpee is just simply going hands on the ground, step or a kick out, and then give me a high five. Okay. You put your hands on the table or an elevated surface or a chair. All we're doing is we're practicing the skill. Of changing levels. Okay. So you have a sturdy chair. Make sure it doesn't have wheels. Wheels are dangerous with this movement. Hands planted. I can step out, jump, out, step, step. It doesn't really matter. Jump and high five. Okay. Let's do 10 together. Ready? Here we go. There's one. High five. <laughs> and two. High five, 
three, got 10, boom, and four, and five, six, seven, and eight, and nine. And all right, let's put some dust on the floor. All right, so here's the time where we would do our semi obligatory, completely optional group photo. But uh, I'm not here, so if you're watching this on your own time or with me. This would be a good time to kind of unmute yourself, reveal your camera. If I'm here, I'm gonna try to take a screenshot of all of you. But if you're doing this on your own, or if you wanna take a screenshot with me, just uh, take the screenshot, go to the specific tool on the bottom, or take your camera or your phone and snap a photo and send it to me. Uh, I'd love it just to see you guys that are still moving and still uh, going through these things. So I'm gonna hold a smile for like 10 seconds and then, uh, Feel free to pause the video if you're watching this after the fact. All right, so five, four, three, two, one. Let's hold for 10 seconds. And this is uh, a good time to get your sniffing tool or your screenshot button. Three, two, and one. Good stuff. All right, cool down. Got about two to three minutes left. Knee soft. Feet, left shoulders apart, scrub is comfortable. Inhale, hands up to shoulder height, exhale, press down. Okay? On the inhale, exhale, lead the movement with the wrist. Okay? Inhale up, exhale down. When I inhale up, I'm actually not going to breathe up through my chest. I'm breathing in and expanding through my belly. So inhale, fill your belly. Exhale. I like inhaling through my nose and giving a big, long sigh. <sighs> Straight out. A few more times. This movement is kind of arbitrary. Fired from Tai Chi, but I couldn't really say it's Tai Chi. The idea, though, is to use this calmer nervous system and use your breath and movement to bring recovery. All right, feet out. Okay, toes are out. Inhale up. Exhale, hands separate, turn and twist, and reach down. I'm gonna try to lengthen my arms so that they're straight. 180, I'm gonna lengthen my chest and spine and twist. So whether I have my thigh, my knee, my ankle, or the floor, I want to think length, prioritize length first. Even though you can touch here, make sure you're not rounding down there. Breathing to that discomfort, three, two. And one more time, other side. Inhale up. Exhale, hands separate, turn and twist. Remember, hands straight and plumb, spine tall. Extend through your chest. Fry, open. Don't reach back too much. Just think once you have this straight line, just now think of getting your ribs to your knee. And wherever you have this anchor point, just think of slightly twisting. And now breathing in the areas of tightness. Three, two. And up. All right. Shoulders back, palms forward, eyes closed, knees soft, mouth closed, tongue on the roof of your mouth. Two mindful breaths. Inhale. Long exhale. One more big long breath. Big long exhale. Eyes open. All right, that's it. Thank you all so much. That is half an hour, uh, I think, on the dot, if I did my math correctly. 
and didn't forget the time. So thank you all so much for your time and energy. Have a great Thursday or Tuesday or Sunday or whatever day you're watching this. And thank you so much for being here. All right. Um, bye.